The title of this video is actually true. When I was in high school, I thought I wanted to be a doctor, so I applied to an 8-year program that combined college and med school, and after grinding through some interviews and a lot of luck, I got an acceptance. As an 18-year-old, I just wasn't ready for an 8-year commitment, and I wasn't sure I wanted to be a doctor, so I decided to go to Georgia Tech. Plus, I was always interested in math and physics, and Georgia Tech offered a full scholarship. For around the first year and a half, I hopped around a couple of different majors, from neuroscience to chemical engineering, even working 12-hour shifts in an emergency room as a lowly scribe. At some point, I realized that I just wasn't interested in a career in medicine, and I changed my major once more to computer science. After multiple intense semesters of taking as many credits as possible, I was still able to graduate early and start my master's degree in ML. For the past year, I've been teaching ML on YouTube, and in that time, I've also built an ML programming platform with my colleague Navdeep, the founder of Neatcode. Right now, I'm in my final semester of my master's degree, and I thought I would share a couple of lessons for anyone still working on their CS degree. They're a bit corny, and they might be obvious to you, so bear with me. I hope that at least a few people find these lessons insightful. The first is that sometimes you just have to commit. Obviously CS isn't the perfect major, we can all name tons of issues, like the terrible job market right now, but changing my major again would have also been a terrible idea. The second is that it's never too late to pursue an interest or passion, especially if it's going to impact the rest of your life. If you want to study something, pursue it unapologetically and give it all you have. If you're interested in software engineering, pursue it fully. Don't listen to AI hype, because software engineers aren't going anywhere. If you're interested in AI and machine learning, pursue it fully. Even though it helps to have a master's or PhD, you don't need it to study ML. Lastly, if you're looking to dive deeper into machine learning, you might enjoy the First Principles Framework. This is a starter course I created that covers the must-know ML fundamentals. Thousands of students have enjoyed the GBT Learning Hub resources, and I think you will too. The framework is priced at just $9.99, and I also offer a lifetime guarantee. If you ever want your money back, just shoot me an email, and I'll refund you with no questions asked. Head to the link in the description to learn more, and I'll see you soon.